Yo guys, what's up? It's Camera Vaults here. And you guys may remember this. It's a pretty familiar site if you've been on my channel for a while. This is my laptop made into a server box that I featured in one of my videos. This was basically like a, a little game server that had Windows XP on it. It was actually really, really slow with the CPU that this has in it and the cooling wasn't too bad. But as you can tell, it's pretty much stripped right now and there's like nothing in here. The hard drive's gone. Um, actually, two of the USB ports are gone because they uh, you know, broke off. You know, was kind of my fault, but... <laughs> So yeah, two of, the, two of the USB ports right here are broken, so we only have one usable USB port, and yeah, that's not really going to work for this, and other than that, this was really slow. Uh, I think it had like a gig of RAM in it last time I had it running and stuff. But yeah, this was my old server box, and I used it for, you know, uh, some gaming servers and stuff, you know, like just really simple stuff like... I think I even used it for like a Minecraft server and I let somebody run their own off of it for like a good year. But this has been actually down for like, I'd say a year. So it was up for like a whole year actually being used and then it's been down for a year. And I figured, I mean, I guess it's time to make, you know, the second generation something, uh, a newer version of it. So I didn't really explain this too good last time. It wasn't really that complicated either because I, I didn't really take too many components and the fact that it was older everything was really simple like for the wireless and stuff I didn't need antennas or anything it was literally just this little wireless chip and it actually got a decent connection I mean the wire, wireless router is in my room to be fair but it, it still got a decent connection without any you know Wi-Fi antennas and it did have a pretty bad cooler actually because most of the time when you would be running like actually straining tasks on the server it would start the thermal throttle everything would just lag uh, team viewer on it would crash it would stop responding and you'd have to wait for like 15 minutes for it to come back up and it would be really annoying and i'd have to go in there you know power it off manually turn it back on and there was this annoying thing where i'd have to press f2 every single time i turned it on because of an old uh partition on the hard drive i was using so overall this is just it was really really bad it was really annoying to use it wasn't convenient I mean good sure it was good for the power and everything but overall it just wasn't convenient and nice to use so basically we're getting rid of this um, and we got this <laughs> it's a shoe box I've upgraded from a cut up box with uh, no colors to a adidas neon shoe box with a comfy foam yeah <laughs> so this uh, is actually a lot nicer than that it's actually it's a lot faster too and it's not running Windows XP this time it's running Windows 10 so if we open this this is uh, I know I know a lot of people are gonna say um, probably bad things but it is AMD I know that's a pretty big downfall if I would have gotten like a board that had a core to do or something that would have been better but then again when I do these uh, type of things I use broken laptops like this one had a busted screen well, the USB ports are broken, and I only have these two over here, so it was just trash. The battery uh, didn't work anymore. It was totally dead. Everything was trash. It didn't even have RAM or hard drive in it. This was a trash PC, so I decided to make it useful again. So let's uh, see what we got in here. So we got the cooling fan over here, and this is the CPU. Uh, it's an AMD E300, and it's got the Radeon HD graphics that come with it. So it's an APU. You guys know how <laughs> you guys know how the older AMD APUs are. But one thing that actually kind of makes it worse is this hard drive is 5400 RPM. It's a 120 gigabyte drive by Hitachi, I believe. So that slows it down a little bit. I might upgrade this drive later. But then again, this is just going to be used for the same test as that one, like a server and stuff. So I'm not really going to be. I'm, it's not going to be like a file server. So I'm not going to be transferring things on and off at all time. It's just going to be used. As something that I can always have on, I could boot into, I can go in through TeamViewer and everything, and I could have it sitting in a closet somewhere. And because it is a laptop, it's like drawing no power. And that's actually kind of weird right now. But yeah, it's drawing like no power. So yeah, um, we got Wi Fi antennas over here, which I took out of the monitor and just stuck them onto the sides, hooked up to the little wireless card over there. We got two gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, uh, two USB ports. And then if we go to the sides, 
you see the peripherals. Uh, microphone, uh, headphone jack, uh, broken USB port, HDMI, uh, Ethernet. And right here is a working power button with working wireless and uh, hard drive indicators. Then we got VGA, the cooling vent, and then power. So yeah, that actually works. I just uh, screwed it through the side. I put this metal piece in. You can actually probably see it through here. There you go. And I screwed it through the side. And then I put the wire through the box. And it goes under the board and connects. <laughs> I thought that was kind of cool that I have that there. So it's an actual working button. You can press it and it doesn't like fall off or something. It's on there really good. Then over here, I got the speaker, uh, the actual speaker from it. I have it taped on there with a hole in the box. So if you go here, you can actually see the hole in the box. And it's actually decently loud, even though it is facing away. But because how small this wire is, I couldn't get it to go this way uh, without having to change layout and everything else. And this was the best spot to have like not a bunch of pull on this wire. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much everything in there. There's there's nothing really else. There's no DVD drive. I actually lost it. I, I don't know where it is, but there's no DVD drive. That's why this laptop was just like totally trash. There's, I'm missing so, so much stuff from this. But yeah, so if we start it up here, press the button. There you go. You got the fan spinning there. You can probably hear that. And if we go over here, See, LEDs, everything's working perfectly fine. Hard drive indicator, everything's working. And then, yeah, that that is kind of just taped in right now. I don't have any uh, zip ties on it, but I, I do have zip ties on the actual board. If you look, like, right here, over there. Yeah, I got some zip ties on the board, though. So we go turn this on. <laughs> Not turn it off, turn it on. Oh, it's not connected. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, no. The monitor isn't connected. Okay, guys, I'm back. The monitor is connected now. And yes, we're running Windows 10. I think I already said that before. So we're going to go in here. We're going to log on to this. So there we go. You see the keyboard? mouse hooked up, both of them are hooked up to this. So we're going to let that log in. Now, the laptop is decently fast. The only thing that I really think is limiting it a lot right now is this 5400 RPM drive. Because it's... <laughs> the file, uh, if you go to Task Manager, it's literally the, the drive sitting at like 98% in idle. So it's, it's extremely slow. The drive is so slow. But yeah, so here we go. We got a full desktop. And everything as you see down here got wireless uh, of course uh, it's like no battery detected so if it gets unplugged it's unplugged but yeah if we can go to the about section here go to this PC we go to this PC and we go to our properties right there you can see it's decently fast it just turned on I'm already able to navigate and everything and load some stuff up. So if we go over here, you can see the, well, if it's going to, come on, come on, oh my god, camera, you're so bad. It's literally not focusing at all. Focus. Okay, but you can, you can kind of see that. It's the AMD E300 APU with Radeon HD graphics. It's at 1.3 gigahertz. It's got 2 gigs of RAM, 1.73 uh, usable because the onboard graphics actually does use uh, RAM for the graphics. It doesn't have its own uh, memory, which is kind of, you know, sucky, but, you know, it's an APU. What are you going to do? But yeah, other than that, there's nothing to this right now. Um, I'm probably just going to use it for like a server right now. I'm going to put TeamViewer on it, put it in like a closet or something, or shoot, I might even put it on the shelf over here. I'm not sure, but I'm going to put it somewhere where I can have it. And yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys want to check out the first video I made of the original one, oh, I got an AMD Catalyst thing, uh, but there you go. Speaker works. But yeah, uh, if you guys want to check out the first one with the, I guess, V1, 
laptop in a box. You can check that out. I'll put it in the description. Uh, first link in the description. But other than that, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave it a like. And if you guys want to, follow my Twitter, at Scammer Revolts. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.